Hi, I'm Peter, and I'd like to tell you about the project I've just completed to improve note entry in MuseScore, a free open source music notation program for Windows, Mac, and Linux. The project was called Semi Real Time MIDI, and it was part of Google Summer of Code 2016. I have here a copy of MuseScore 2.0.3, which was released just before my project started. This is just to give a quick reminder of what note entry used to be like. Note input is enabled via a button on the toolbar which allows notes to be entered using the mouse, or using the keyboard, or the MIDI keyboard. However, if you want to change to entering notes of a different duration, then you had to use the mouse to select the new duration from the toolbar. Then you'd go back to the MIDI keyboard to enter the new pitches. Alternatively, you could press a shortcut for the duration on the numeric keypad. Pressing 6 switches to minims, or half notes. This form of input is called step time input. Although you can enter notes with the MIDI keyboard, you have to keep swapping back to the computer controls every time you want to change the duration, which can be very time consuming. MuseScore's other form of input is repitch mode. This is also enabled via a button on the toolbar. Repitch mode allows you to change the pitch of existing notes without affecting the rhythm. Now I'll switch to a development build of MuseScore to demonstrate the new modes of note entry that I added as part of my semi-real-time MIDI project. You can see that the note input button is still there, but now it also has a small arrow next to it with a drop-down list of note input modes. Step time mode is the same as before, as is repitch mode, but the new modes are rhythm, automatic real-time, and manual real-time mode. I'll demonstrate rhythm mode first. In rhythm mode, you use the numeric keypad not only to select a duration, but to add notes with that duration to the score. The shortcuts are the same as before, so pressing 5 enters crotchets, 4 enters quavers, and 6 enters minims. Once the rhythm is entered, you can go back to the beginning and assign pitches to the notes in repitch mode. The idea of rhythm mode is that you only have to swap between the computer keyboard and the MIDI keyboard once, not after every note, as you do in step time mode. So that was rhythm mode. Rhythm mode was inspired by a similar form of input in Denimo, another open source music notation program. Denimo is a front end for Lillipond. The other new modes are the real time modes. I called my project semi-real-time MIDI because these modes are slightly different to the real-time input available in other notation programs. But I called them real-time in the menu for the sake of familiarity. I'll demonstrate the manual version of real-time mode first. If the user presses a MIDI key in manual real-time mode, then it gets added to the score, but it disappears again when the key is released. If you want the note to remain, then you have to press the Advance key, which by default is assigned to Enter on the numeric keypad. Pressing the Advance key confirms the note and adds another to the score, which is connected to the first note by a tie. If you keep pressing the Advance key, then more notes get tied on until you reach the end of the bar, at which point the tied notes are combined. Of course, it isn't very convenient to have to keep pressing the MIDI keyboard with one hand and the Enter key with the other, but if you have a foot switch, then you could assign it the Enter key and press it with your foot instead. Or, you can go into the Preferences, open the Note Input tab, and enable MuseScore's MIDI Remote Control. The MIDI Remote allows you to assign keyboard commands to MIDI keys or to other MIDI devices such as a sustain pedal. Press the record button next to real-time advance, and then press a MIDI key or MIDI pedal. That has assigned the advance command to the pedal, so now you can use the pedal to advance in manual real-time mode. Manual real-time mode allows you to play the piece as you naturally would, and you can play at your own speed by tapping the beats with your foot. In other programs with real-time input, 
notes are not displayed until you cross a bar line, but in my version of real time, notes are added to the score as soon as you play them, allowing you to spot any mistakes and correct for them immediately. In the automatic version of real time mode, the score advances at regular intervals as soon as you start playing notes. There's no need to press an advance key or pedal. The score continues to advance for as long as you're pressing notes. As soon as you release the keys, the score stops advancing, so you can't enter rests in this mode unless you use the pedal. You only have to press the pedal once in automatic real-time mode. Now the score will continue to advance even when no keys are pressed. This allows you to enter rests. Tap the pedal again to stop advancing. So that was the automatic version of real-time mode. If you listen to the metronome in either version of real-time mode, you should be able to hear that some of the beats are played differently to others. The first beat of each bar uses a different click sound to the other beats. Also, the volumes of the other beats are adjusted depending on how important they are to the rhythm in the current time signature. A 4-4 time signature has four beats. Beats 1 and 3 are stressed beats. They are more important than beats 2 and 4, which are unstressed. If you listen carefully, you will hear that the metronome plays stressed beats louder than unstressed beats. The same is also true for half beats and sub beats. Clicks for notes that do fall on a beat are played louder than the ones that don't. One and two and three and four and This is just a way to help you keep track of your position in the score. For example, let's say you're copying a PDF into MuseScore or transcribing a paper score. The different click sounds and click volumes allow you to keep looking at the music you're copying rather than what's going on in MuseScore.